Hello everyone, now we've got Guyana's representative at the 210 Gay Caribbean USA pageant here and she is Victoria, the very pretty Victoria. How do you feel today? Very exciting. Great, that's good. Now Victoria is transgender and for some people they just don't seem to understand why someone who is born male would want to become another person, another gender. How do you explain that? I would explain that, that the mind says one thing and the body says another. Only you, the individual person, can define what you are. Because when you feel something, you feel one way and the body says another. It's very confusing. And only you, that individual person, can tell and explain what he or she feels like. Okay. What influenced you to become transgender? Because I'm always a woman in a man's body. I will always, since I was growing up, I always knew I'm not. I was born in the wrong body, and I, in spite of my actions and behaviors, my femininity always comes out. No matter how I tried, I tried, but I still fail. I accept now that this is who I am, and this is the reason why I am because I was born like this, and this is how I feel. Uh, do you feel totally 100% comfortable at this point and you wouldn't change anything? I wouldn't change anything because this is who I am. Did you discuss becoming transgender with your family? Yes, I did. And how did they relate to this? They're very supportive. Great, okay, that is good, good, good. Do you have any brothers? Yes, I have two brothers. How did they relate to you becoming transgender? Very supportive. When there's a situation where someone who has never been to your family comes around, say a male, and your, it's your brother's friend, how do they introduce you to that new person, that new male friend? They, my brother, my brothers will introduce me as their sister. My mother will introduce me as her daughter. Okay. Because it's who I am and it's who they see me to be. Okay. Have you been to Guyana as a transgender? Yes. What was it like going back to that community where you were raised as a boy in Guyana for the first time as transgender? In Guyana, it's against the law to be homosexual. And it's life imprisonment that it's penalty. It's not accepted and the feeling is not good. That's where I tried to fit in as a male and that is when I failed because I was persecuted, I was beaten, stabbed, almost raped, sexual imputed orientation based on my gender identity. So it's not accepted there and I wouldn't want anybody to go through what I've been through. That's my experience and my encouragement what what I've been through on LGBT out there. So you're saying in Guyana because you did, you wanted to be gay or you were gay. Yes. You were stabbed. Beaten, almost raped, stoned, condemned and persecuted based on my gender identity and sexual orientation. Again, it's against the law to be homosexual in Guyana and its penalty is life imprisonment. Now, you're saying that you, I just want to be really sure that you've been back to Guyana as a transgender. Yes. And I really want to know how did the people in the community relate to you on your return as a transgender? Who knew me was my close friends or family and friends of friends and friends of family. And they were stunned and astonished by my looks and my behavior and my attitude because it's who they, they were wrong. They proved themselves to be wrong of their ignorance and, you know, they never they realized what they had was trying to, to give up and what they have got now. Okay, Victoria, just before you leave, we've got the wild card question. I play three cards down, you choose one, and you get asked the wild question. Go ahead, choose your card. Here. She chose card number one. Are you ready for your question? Uh, yes, I am. Okay. Your question is, where is the most provocative place you've done the dirty? <laughs> what a question. Um, the most provocative place, one of the most prov provocative places I've done the dirty is <laughs> in a movie theater. <laughs> <laughs> 
in the back seat. One thing led to another. It was in the middle of the heat of passion. And it happened. And you went all the way. All the way. In the movie theater. In the movie theater. All right. <laughs> Everybody catch Miss Guyana Victoria at the 210 Gay Caribbean USA pageant in September.